Now, Hobby Lobby, the national chain store of uh, crafts and hobbies, they're in Oklahoma City, and just southwest of the town is a little town called Mustang. The Freedom from Religion Foundation is strongly criticizing Hobby Lobby's public school Bible course, which was they recently approved by the Mustang Public Schools in Oklahoma. We've been eyeing this Bible course ever since November when Hobby Lobby's billionaire owner, Steve Green, personally pitched it. FFRF staff attorney Andrew Seidel had a chance to look over the proposed textbook for this Bible course. I'm amazed that any school district would think this is appropriate for public schools. Adding that his amazement isn't accompanied by surprise. This just confirms the suspicions we had about the class last year. Clearly, Hobby Lobby and the Greens are trying to convert children to their particular brand of Christianity. There's nothing scholarly, fair, or balanced about this curriculum that the Mustang Schools has approved. In our April 24th letter to the school district, FFRF noted that the draft materials that the school intends to use unequivocally fail to meet the legal standards required by our Constitution. These materials show a clear Christian bias. They treat the Bible as historically accurate and true in all respects, and the material makes theological claims. Uh, Andrew Seidel hopes to enroll experts to critique the class more thoroughly. Uh, Andrew noted numerous alarming inaccuracies in this book. Uh, Right now it's called The Book. We think that's the title of this curriculum. Perhaps the best example of Christian bias in this book is the question that it asks and then answers. What is God like? goes on to list only positive attributes of God. For example, faithful and good, gracious and compassionate, orderly and disciplined, full of love. Or this book lists these theologically Christian attributes as always was, always will be, ever-present help in times of trouble, a righteous judge. God's negative aspects go unmentioned in this course. For, what, for, for instance, just one example, according to the same Bible, In the Ten Commandments, in Exodus 20, it says, I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Not only does God admit that he's a jealous God, he even says his name is jealous in the Bible. He promises to punish innocent children for the crimes of their parents in the Ten Commandments. Any fair, balanced listening listing of God's attributes must include those which he allegedly gives himself. He calls himself a war god. He says in the Bible that he created evil, and uh, he admitted that he tortured and tormented Job and committed murder of Job's children for no reason at all, just because the devil made him do it. Another epic fail of this Bible course, this textbook criticizes, quote, the historical half-truths of Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code, which is a work of fiction. But the course fails to apply that same critical lens to the Bible It's that it is so clearly promoting in this course. The summary contained on that page reads, We can conclude that the Bible, especially when viewed alongside other historical information, is a reliable historical source. The text even makes the claim that, quote, The writer of Genesis, traditionally thought to be Moses, says this. However, genuine scholarship shows us that Moses was not the author of the book of Genesis. In fact, in the book of Genesis, uh, Moses, in in the Pentateuch, excuse me, in the Pentateuch, Moses is, his death is described. So unless he could be writing the book from beyond the grave, he could not have been the author of at least the entire book. We also hope that this course, if it were presented, would show some Historical inaccuracies in the Bible. For example, the news that just came out of Tel Aviv just uh, about a month or two ago confirming that domesticated camels were introduced into, into Palestine, into the Middle East, in the 9th century. In fact, we now know pretty much to the decade in the 9th century B.C. when camels were introduced. But the first five books of the Bible, which describes the lives of the patriarchs, describes them a thousand years earlier or so having domesticated camels, camel caravans and camels as property. There are many examples of historical mistakes, um, anachronisms, inaccuracies, uh, scientific errors in the Bible, 
historical mistakes in the Bible, and of course many immoral teachings in the Bible, such as what you should do to people who don't worship uh, on the right day of the week. And the Bible, of course, says there they are stoned to death. So according to this Bible that Mustang Public Schools is going to be teaching children, any anyone who doesn't worship on Saturday should be put to death. And of course, it says homosexuals should be put to death. Disobedient children should be put to death. There are passages in the Bible, for example, in Psalm 137, verse 9, that said believers should be happy to take innocent children and dash them against the stones. So obviously this curriculum in Mustang, Oklahoma, is biased towards a warm, fuzzy, positive view of the Christian Bible, and we will continue our complaint.